All right, today I'm going to try to do some clothing. I did some research today on the computer, and I came up with uh, clothes for the period. Uh, this is the one here that I probably would use, and uh, another one here, which is also a good one. And then I did some research on shoes, and you can't find anything. I mean, you can find thongs. In fact, uh, this gentleman is wearing flip-flops. <laughs> I don't think they were around back then, but I don't know. I went to uh, the movie The Passion... Uh, what was the name of the movie? It was a Mel Gibson movie, and I can't remember the name of it. It was about the... Uh, crucifixion of Christ and what he went through and I got these photos off the video uh, of that movie and uh, I figured if anybody's going to be doing research on what they wore back then it would have been uh, Mel Gibson and his movie company. I've had I've dealt with movie companies in the past and, and uh, I know how when they really want to, they really do a deep and in, in-depth uh, research. And if you're going to have a movie where people are talking the language of the time, uh, you're going to do some research in the clothing. Now, this is some other uh, type of uh, shoes that I picked up off the web for that period. I don't know how accurate these are. These are just uh, slip-on sandals that uh, don't have a a back support for the heel. It's just like a modern day sandal except uh, eh, well it's what I found. So I'm just gonna have to do the best I can on as far as, far as the shoes go. Time to play with some clay. I think what I'm going to do is start on the feet first because I want to get everything down there uh, built up and ready to go. And I will show you more of this than I would uh, the clothing. I'm going to put the, the mannequin on here, this uh, uh, reference uh, the material that I got from uh, anatomytools.com. These are not cheap. I think these are almost $500, but I can't remember. It's been a long time since I purchased one. It all depends on what their price is now. But anatomytools.com is the uh, website that I went to to get these. And I've got the small one here. This one's uh, probably, I think, $200, but I can't remember. None of them are cheap, but anything worth having is not going to be cheap. So, unfortunately for me, when I first started out, I would never have had the money to get these. And I'm so glad I can now. Alright, I'm going to get, get busy here and start developing the feet. I gotta make the uh, sole of the shoe. And I'm gonna use this file cabinet uh, folder metal flat that goes through the top of the file. It hangs on the, uh, the uh, file and uh, use this as a straight edge. What I'm going to do is uh, run this around his foot so it looks like he's standing on a, a flat piece of uh, raw hide or thick cowhide or thick leather that would protect his feet from the rocks. When you're 
doing something for the first time, you're always trying to figure out how to make it look like uh, what you're trying to sculpt. One thing I notice is the side of the uh, bottom of the shoe or sandal was drawn up to form around the bottom of the uh, foot or around the side of the foot. One thing I did notice is uh, on these two guys, they wrapped their feet in some kind of a sock or something like that. And uh, I wonder if I should do that. That would make it more comfortable to wear. Sandal that they would have been wearing. Hmm. Got to decide on that one. Still got to sculpt the feet though. It makes more sense to me to have sandals and wearing some kind of a sock or something 
on his foot because, you know, he'd have been walking through grass and all kinds of uh, items that might have scratched his feet and having something to protect at least that might have been something that would have been appealing to him. And this would make the foot more secure, wrapping like uh, on this uh, gentleman's uh, sandal. He's got uh, wrappings around his leg to give the uh, sandal a little bit more purchase on his foot. I like that idea. And it creates some interest as far as uh, the fabric on his uh, foot too. I mean I really wasn't there. I don't know what the fashion was. And uh, so I'm just guessing here and going by what I see is uh, illustrations of clothing that they would have wore.
Uh, as far as I'm going to get today, because I had a gentleman come by and visit me today, and I just uh, didn't have time to finish this. We talked for quite a few hours, and it's getting late at night. So I'm going to call it quits right now, and uh, so I can get the video out today. And it's a good time to break anyway because I want to see how this is going to look to me tomorrow. Uh, you know, you get, you get into something like this and you don't really, you get too involved in it and then you're, if you don't take a break and come back, you may miss something that uh, doesn't look right. It's always best to come back a day later with fresh eyes and see if your idea is working. I think it is. I kind of like uh, this idea. If I was uh, somebody who uh, was walking everywhere and in the winter time or when it was cool, and it does get cold in Jerusalem or Israel. I think they even get snow, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I would want my feet kept warm. <laughs> and I think a pair of loose socks would do the trick. Now I'm going to leave the bottom part of his feet showing and his leg and uh, his act his uh, smock schmock or what do you want to call it is going to come down to about right there so it'll, this, this part will be up underneath the uh, his clothing I I kind of like the way it's looking. I like the action of the uh, wrinkles in the uh, caused by the uh, straps holding the uh, sandal on and attaching the uh, sock. If you're going to have a, a wrinkle on one side of the uh, tie, you've got to have it on the other side too. So, like I said, I'll come back tomorrow see how I feel about this and uh, pick it up and maybe do the other foot. All right, good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.